Right, you little dickheads. Um, I've not been on the internet. I mean, I've been on the internet, but I broke my back. Actually broke it. I didn't like hurt it. Um, so I don't really like watching drum videos because they make me think about how I can't play the drums. But today I'm going to go and play the drums. So I'm going to warm up with... Uh, some sort of drum video, and if it's shit, then I'm going to go back to not watching drum videos. How did you break your back? I fell off the side of a river, essentially bridge height, um, and there was no river on the bit that I fell onto. Simply concrete and rocks. And I fractured my T9 vertebra. Just a bit. I'm fine. Stable fracture. Fucking hurt. Still hurts a little bit. Got a good physio. Shout out Harry Carman from Liverpool Football Club for helping me out. Yeah, that's the sort of people I'm hanging out with. Um, I've got a video. I don't even know what it's going to be. Can someone in the chat tell me what this is before I click it? Some fucking dog shit metalcore band. Um, I'm on Twitch right now. If you're watching this on YouTube, come to twitch.tv slash Renlord. Oh, it's Tesseract. Is it real drums? If you're going to give me some fucking e-drum bullshit, I ain't watching it. Oh, it's Mike. Oh, little story about Mike. Let's go. Little story about Mike Malian, who was supposed to be on the Downbeat podcast, www.thedownbe.at. So it's about Downbeat, you could buy lovely clothes like this. Um, and then he asked for so many edits, because the stuff we were talking about, which was, I ruined my hair, uh, which was like time dependent, uh, he basically, they all changed, and he asked for so many edits. I said, you know what, I'm just going to delete this. Oh yeah, by the way... <coughs> I also won an award. I won a heavy award for having the best podcast in the world. So that's what I've been up to. Breaking my back, recovering like Wolverine, um, winning awards. What have you been doing? Sat on the fucking internet leaving little comments about moon gels. Let's watch this video. Oh. Oh, it's good to be back. Just move myself for a second. Is it good to be back, really? Um... The fucking goddamn best company of all time. Ever told you the story of the time they put me up in a hotel for no reason? I was like, can I go to the Minor Drum Festival, please? Can I just have a ticket? And they went, here you go, here's your flight, here's your hotel. Um, here, This time's dinner. Um, yeah, it was really good. Promark. Evans, yeah, really good. The fucking Chew people. It's a fucking shoe, bro. Apparently they're the nicest guys in the world, but it's a fucking shoe. Come on. Crasher hats, oh, they're so sick. I broke mine. Let's go. It was my own fucking fault. I stored them incorrectly. It wasn't through playing. Again, I'm going to pause again, right? This song, what's it called? Singularity. Was it fucking 10 minutes? I've already done this bit. It's going to be a two part. I'm only doing the first song. Um, it's the same chord progression as The Man With The Child In His Eyes by Kate Bush. I'm sure it was on purpose. I'm pretty sure Ackle loves Kate Bush. But you can sing that song over the intro if you want. Oh, he's here again The Man With The Child In His Eyes 
What a nice fucking mix, though, bro. Very low tune snare. Ready? Tesseract. What's he got? Space pedals. He didn't shout them out, so maybe he hasn't got a deal. Um, I love Tesseract. I think they're one of my favourite bands from the UK. Definitely top five of all time, actually, in the UK. And that's saying something. We've got Led Zepp and all that bullshit. Um, Mike Malian. I got asked to fill in for Periphery once. I'm not even watching this fucking video, am I? I'm just having a little chat. I don't give a shit about the drums. Uh, I got asked to fill in for Periphery once, and I didn't do it because um, I didn't know how to do it. And Mike did it in like two days. He learned all their songs. The guy's a fucking <laughs> genius. Um, he fucking nailed it on this live record. I can't believe it. It's so sick. A snare sound. This is actually making me want to play the drums later. Ooh. Dotted eighth note. Metric modulation, baby. Song fucks. I'm going to turn that down a bit because I don't want to fucking... I want some money from this. There's no way I'm getting money. I can't believe how low tune that snare is. What the fuck are his drums? What's he doing? What are the drums? Oh, I don't even know what that feel is. His drums look like they're made out of... Um, Aluminum. Oh, nice. 100% natty on the mix there, because otherwise that would be going bang, bang. He's hitting the same velocity as the Infant Annihilator guy hits. That's what drums would actually sound like. What is funny about it though is I think that maybe there's a hell of a lot of fucking sample on the backbeat. It's fine. It's a fucking mix, isn't it? it rides that. It sounds nice. Yes, yeah, there's a fucking sample there. Come on. Do you think I am a fucking idiot? Yeah. But Tesseract's fucking sample central, isn't it? It's not. Jay can play it, though. This guy can play it. This guy, Mike. I fucking love this band. One of those bands that you can listen to in any emotional state. You can have a little cry to this. <laughs> or you can have like a, a redemption arc to this. Yeah, I'm gonna show them, I'm gonna show my boss. I'm gonna show him what's up. Or you could be a bit happy. No, it's like a melancholy happy. I think that's as far as I ever go. Never quite get to real happiness. Tell you what's amazing about this live album is hearing uh, Dan on the Old State songs. Imagine learning this. I think about this every time I listen to it. I'm like, you are a fucking freak to learn that. You've never listened to Tesseract, Charlie. Jesus.
They're the fucking, literally, top five bands from the UK. Oh, they love. The end of this song is incredible. Who's the other top four? Hang on. I can't talk over this bit. The bass. What a fucking legend, every single member. Uh, if I was talking about top four metal bands, top five other four, other four me- metal bands, the man with the child in his eyes, um, Bring Me, Architects, Tesseract, um, who else we got? Who else have we even got? Oof, what a lovely little fucking lick that was. Uh, Meshuggah are not from the UK. Psylosis, definitely in there. Oh, Malev, they're... Malev's a shout, but I'm sure there's another bigger one. And that's just the next song, isn't it? Is this the next song? I never know with this fucking album. Pretty sure this is the next track. Ocean's 8 Alaska, only one member is from the UK, isn't it? Or are they all from the UK? Also, he's a very good drummer, but come on. Wait a minute, Charlie the Moderator with Jen in your... The Gentleman and you've never heard Tesseract. Bruh. Tell you what, I don't really like the sound of that left crash. Different strokes. Why is it going purple? What the fuck's happened there? Am I tripping out? Might just be tripping. Microdose, baby. Sometimes you take too much. Guys, you can't put bands that are brand new in the top five UK metal bands. I guess I'm going to watch the whole fucking goddamn thing. Sorry, i got to stop this. You put Love in the top five metal bands from the UK ever based on one album. I'm not saying the band isn't fucking good, but... Jesus. I feel like this must be the end of this fucking song. This video is fucking 15 minutes long. I'm going to stop doing it. Anyway... Am I back? I need to see real life money to be back because this shit fucking bums me out. All your little comments. And actually, it's a, it's a, 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 a wing nut uh, used as a snare drum on the record. Fuck off. Have a day off. <laughs>